What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in every like pre-patch uh, before an expansion, I always stockpile a lot of like old content materials uh, and other items uh, because when the new expansion comes around, nobody really farms the old content stuff, but it's still in high demand, causing the prices to absolutely explode through the roof because there's like a lot of demand it might even be more demand on some materials because there's more people playing the game more people coming back to, to the expansion but there's way less people supplying the auction house with the items so before shadowlands i had this uh book exclusive uh stockpiling section of what i saved before the expansion in the uh, zero to 10 million gold guide and if you guys haven't bought the zero to 10 million gold guide yet you can get it down below using the uh, link Shadowlands, the code Shadowlands using the link down below. And this is a book that I would constantly uh, update with new content, so it's always relevant for uh, the current patch of the game. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I've already uh, cleaned out and sold a lot of it, but uh, I'm going to show you guys one of my mailbox cleanouts in case that was of interest of you guys. So basically what I'm doing is I have this list of materials and I buy it really low before the expansion. I always I also farm it, but I don't sell it because the prices are dog shit. And then I would just wait around until the prices are at market value or in some cases way above market value. So we're not going to go into too much of a detail like on each item uh, on these, but you can see it, I've sold 300 auctions in a couple of days now million gold in the first clean out but some of these are really worth mentioning like corian bars they were like 500 gold at the lowest before shadowlands now i'm selling it for uh 1700 gold and it's pretty much the same all around like primal fire selling those for a thousand gold each so the kind of like uh the thing that i want to do with, with this video is that i want you guys to go on the auction house and search of all of the old materials like uh many of these now like old skinning old ore volatiles have an insanely good price right now uh primals for that matter really good price like just all of these old materials if they have a super high price as most of them do on my realm you can in some cases make way more gold doing old content materials than you can doing shadowlands uh, like current content materials so uh let me see if there's anything else that stands out volatile here 75 000 gold in those 80 Corian bars, over 129,000 gold. Some fell steel bar, volatiles. Then just minor stuff right here. And uh, living steel, more stuff. I'm going to open up this uh, first 1 million and see what we got next up. And uh, you don't want to sell. That's like, it's. I think it's one of the last pages in the book that tells you guys like the mentality of selling. Like just because you go out and farm something and the price after you farmed it is really bad on the auction house. It doesn't mean that you have to uh, just be fine with that and sell the uh, the materials for whatever they are up on the auction house. <coughs> you can just hoard them in your uh, in your uh, bank and wait for the prices to go up because on materials, prices fluctuate like crazy. So never sell until you're satisfied with the price that you're getting. And this next one, 1 1.8 million gold. There has to be something, uh, some huge sales. A lot of these minor sales are also good. Because the prices are really good. I just haven't sold that many of them. But something has to be. There we go. Spirit of Harmony. 8,000 of those for uh, a million and 31,000 gold. And I bought these uh, Spirit of Harmony for like 40 gold each before Shadowlands. Uh, and now I sell them for almost three times that. So some Primal Water, 146,000 gold with 551 of those. Not the best price, but I bought them super cheap. Uh, so that was another 1.8 million gold on that one. And uh, hopefully there's going to be some big sales on the uh, the last auctions too. And keep in mind though that some of this is also uh, materials that I bought super low. It's not all farm, but the, uh, the majority of it, I went ham before Shadowlands and just stockpiled every material that I farmed away. Didn't sell anything. Uh, next one is at 1.4 million golds. Volatile air, 800 of those, 40,000 gold. I mean, all of this adds up. It's a lot of gold in these sales. Uh, more Spirit of Harmony, 4,400 for 660,000 gold before auction house cut. Is there anything else worth mentioning? Some Primal Fires again. A decent price. 
that was another 1.4 million gold. Uh, then we don't really have that many auctions left, do we? Well, we're going to end up at like right above 4 million gold. And uh, I'm not even close to being done with selling off my my stockpile. Not even close. Since this is just materials, I've also stockpiled uh, some battle pets and toys and uh, stuff like that. Quest items, so like seal tomb and, and all of that. But yeah, that was a 4.3 million gold clean out. Um, and right above a week in sales, I believe. So, motto of the video, uh, the message of the video even, make sure that you... You can even go to uh, like my playlist on YouTube called uh, Forgotten Gold Farms and just look for these... Uh, make sure you check the price in your auction house and look for these potential like super high gold per hour farms, like Arcane Crystal right now. 700 gold each, that's good. And... Uh, same with Corium at 1700, Primal Fire at 1000 gold, Primal Air 700. There's a lot of good, uh, even Primal Mana because you get so many an hour, it's like over 40,000 gold an hour farm on that one. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys the clean out of some of my stockpile. And as I said, if you guys haven't bought the Zero to 10 million gold guide yet, link down below, use code Shadowlands, and I will see all of you guys back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.